For the last 13 years, the Ecclesiastical Heritage Heroes Award have celebrated the vital roles of volunteers at the heart of the heritage sector, from caring for rural heritage sites, undertaking important research, restoring structure and monitoring change, through to engaging the next generation of visitors. Heritage volunteers' skills, passion and commitment are the backbone of our sector, which is why I'm so excited to share with you this year's nominees. Our Heritage Heroes Awards recognize the critical place that heritage volunteers have at the heart of our sector. Many nominations highlighted the importance of volunteers in providing outstanding visitor experience, such as Charterhouse Front Desk Volunteer, who welcomed nearly 30,000 visitors, always with a smile and a happy greeting in stunning medieval surroundings. The volunteers at the Brunel Museums shared their enthusiasm for the Thames Tunnel and Brunel's family history through accessible activities. English Heritage Chester Castle volunteer brought 974 years of stories to life and shared the joys of volunteering with their communities, recruiting 98 additional volunteers. The Kingston upon Thames Society recognized their peer David Kennedy 10 years of commitment in sharing the history of the Tudor Coombe Conduit with local schools, students and researchers, in person and virtually. But heritage volunteers don't stop there. They are everywhere, front of house and behind the scene, in the archives, in the engine rooms, delving into accounts, creating inspiring content and navigating brick and mortar. At the Enbar Foundation, the Guardians of the Clock Tower supported its renovation as well as rebuilding the community pride and identity around their iconic building. 61 volunteers researchers used their own experience of Barrier to Access to research hundreds of heritage sites' websites and help Vocali produce a critical report on heritage access. It is great to be able to celebrate the protected REC licensee this 50th year of the protection of REC Act. A group of volunteer divers acting as site custodians to monitor, research, protect and share the stories of the shipwrecked around the UK. We are delighted to share these nominations with you. And to continue with our second award? Our Heritage Storyteller Award recognized the powerful role that volunteers can play in bringing untold stories to light. The live poetry readers at Woodsward House Grasmere bring William's word to life through their storytelling. A Thames Lark gathered a group of young people aged under 25 to create an immersive event along the Thames, unwrapping its hidden stories. Khaled Ali Ismail created a podcast to document and preserve the artistic heritage of Syrian artists displaced in the UK. The Le Volunteer Digital Team at Wentworth Woodhouse created over 150 videos released on their YouTube channel, giving their estate a global presence. The volunteers of the Hallis Tree Golf Course conducted extensive research to save an overlooked municipal golf course with historical significance. The Buxton Crescent Experience volunteering team created imaginative, educational and fun experiences to celebrate Buxton's rich heritage. Finally, the Chinatown History Champion played a crucial role to reveal the neighbourhood's heritage and contribute to anti-racism work in this part of London. As you can imagine, our judging panel had the unenviable task of selecting winners among such a diverse and engaging range of nomination. We are delighted to announce this morning the finalists for this year. The winners will be announced tomorrow as part of our in-person set conference. The finalists for this year's Ecclesiastical's Heritage Heroes Awards are David Kennedy, Coombe Condrit, and the Protected Rec Licensee. The finalists for Ecclesiastical Heritage Storyteller Award are China Exchange History Champions and a Thames Lark, Thames Discovery Programme. Congratulations to all.